What's up, fight fans? I'm here down in Santa Monica. We're hanging with Ronda Rousey. We're gonna talk about her Strike Force debut. She's gonna take out Sarah Delilio. We're gonna have fun watching it. Okay, tune in, babies. <laughs> hey, my name is Ronda Rousey. I'm making my Strike Force debut August 12th at the Palms in Vegas. And come check it out. It's been too long since I recall. I feel like what women's MMA needs right now is they need a new face to it because you know Gina Carano used to play that role but she hasn't fought for two years and we need someone actively competing that they can see fights you know we can't just watch the same old highlights over and over when it comes to fights I get my most nervous uh, two weeks out I call it two week itis where like you know I will literally cry over anything and you know nothing works at practice and I'm just having a horrible time but by the time I actually got to get to a fight it's I'm tired of being nervous and it's actually what I'm good at doing I really am welcoming the role of like having a lot of responsibility and representing the sport. You know, I, I've had a lot of experience just, you know, fighting for the U.S. and the Olympics and all that stuff. And I, you know, already had to re represent my country for a long time, which I think is a lot more pressure than just representing yourself. Well, with, uh, with Sarah D'Elio, she actually has more of a jiu-jitsu and uh, wrestling background which uh, I think it actually works very well for me because I feel like after watching a lot of her tapes, I feel like my submissions and takedowns and transition are actually better than hers. So if anything, since I have a reputation for being such a, such a terrible striker, I think she would, uh, she would try to keep the standing. And uh, I think that's fine for me because I've seen her standing and I really do think that mine is better than hers. I just haven't been able to uh, display it very much you know, in, in my fight so far. So uh, what we've been working on mostly is a lot of just controlling distance and you know being able to stay either too far away or too close to get hit and be able to clinch effectively without sustaining any damage. You know anything can happen. You know, you know I have a lot of people giving me giving me some flack about you know oh can you get longer than a minute can we get past the first round and I'm making no promises either way. You know I would it would tickle me happy if I could end another another fight in the first round. But uh, if it went longer than that, I, I wouldn't be sad about it either. You know, I'd actually kind of uh, and welcome the opportunity to open up and kind of have more more time in the cage and just more experience with a longer fight. So whichever happens, I won't be bummed as long as I don't lose and I don't think that's going to happen. I'm really excited about this upcoming fight. I really feel like this is the beginning of the visible part of my career. and. My roommate read my tarot reading and he said that uh, <laughs> old Rhonda's dying and the new one's going to be born. So <laughs> we'll see if that's bullshit or not. <laughs> Is that not good? <laughs> I can't say bullshit. Okay, okay, let's do another one. <laughs>